Hi friends, my name is Mary and I made this video to show how to charge LiPo battery using IMAX B6 mini balance charger. I bought this from AliExpress.com for about $40. This is Sky RC IMAX B6 mini balance charger. This charger comes with a user manual and set of some wires with different connectors all these wires except this one has T plug at one end and connectors at the other end that are widely used with lipo batteries so you guys probably not need to make your own connector this charger comes with one T plug with banana connector. This is actually a charging cable. One DC cable with alligator clip. Charging connector, a T plug connector with JST connector, T plug connector with Futaba, T plug with alligator clip, and T plug with XT60 connector. I know this charger that I have is original Sky RC product because if I look at the bottom of this charger I can see a hologram of Sky RC and a serial number of this charger and I already checked this serial number with skyrc.com and I found that I am having the original one. So if you want to check that your charger is genuine you can go to skyrc.com and check it with their online tool. Now let's come to the pine and check the port it has. At right side of this charger you can see balance ports for different cell types. This is for 2 cell, for 3 cell, 4, 5 and 6. You can charge batteries starting from 2 cells up to 6 cells but of course one of the types at one time. It is not recommended to charge battery with different cell types or different capacity in parallel. These are the ports for this banana connector for this charging cable and the main cable of your battery or power cable of battery will go here the red one will go in this red slot and the black one will go in this black slot. Okay now let's have a look what the other side has. This is a fan for cooling and this is DC input port for this charger and it says this charger will accept input between 11 to 18 watts. Another thing which is not mentioned here is the input current and that should be 6 amps. So you need a power adapter which is capable to provide required current input for this charger cause the power adapter is not included in this set so you need to buy it and the uh, next port here is the port for temperature sensor temperature sensor is also not included in this set so you need to go and check skyrc.com if they have this sensor and this port here says PC link is to connect this charger with your PC. Yes, you can connect this charger with your PC also and you need just a cable like this to connect this charger with your PC and a set of driver and a software that you can download from skyrc.com this software is really good you can program and manage this charger with a nice user friendly graphical interface and you can see real time statistics on screen with nice illustration graphs one another feature the instruction manual says 
that you can also control your charger with Android and iOS mobile apps. And for that you need to connect this charger with your Android smartphone through Wi-Fi. I don't know how it works because I didn't try it yet. Okay, now what else this instruction manual says? Let me tell you in short. First, never leave the charger unattended while charging. This is really important. DC input for this charger should be between 11 to 18 watts. Otherwise, it will show you an input voltage error or a higher voltage can also burn the chipset inside. Never attempt to charge battery that is already fully charged or slightly discharged. And Never try to charge battery packs with different types of cell or manufacturers. Always charge your battery at 1C or what your battery manufacturer recommends. Now here, let me tell you what this 1C is. 1C means 1 times of battery capacity. Suppose you have a battery pack of say 2200 mAh like this one this is 2200 mAh 3 cell battery and now here to calculate 1C for this battery I just just take off the last two digits from its total capacity and you will get 22 now put a decimal before the last digit which is between 2 and 2 and you got 1C which is 2.2 amps another way is just divide the total capacity with 1000 so 2200 divided by 1000 you got 2.2 amps which is 1c now suppose you have a some low capacity battery to charge say battery with capacity of 900 mAh the same method will apply here just divide the capacity with 1000 so 900 divided by 1000 you will get 0.9 amps which is a required charging rate for 900 mAh battery one more thing which is not in this instruction manual that I personally recommend do not charge batteries with different capacities as well always charge batteries with same capacity if you are charging them in a parallel okay now let me show how to make a connection to start the charging. First of all, take the power supply and connect with this charger. Now program your charger according to the battery pack you want to charge. Here I want to charge this 2200 mAh 3 cell battery. So the charge current should be 1C which is 2.2 amps and the cell type should be 3. So to configure this charger accordingly you might need to change the default settings. To do this press this stop button once and it will take you to battery type selection menu we need lipo so just press this enter button to confirm the setting now to set the charge current to 2.2 amps press this start button again the current option will start to blink now adjust the current by pressing increment or decrement button and confirm the setting by pressing the start button so pressing this increment button this is what we need pressing enter to confirm it's confirmed now the system will move to next option which is cell type I need to change 
it to 3 cell so pressing increment button and confirm the setting by pressing the start button 3 cells and press enter to confirm now this setting is confirmed so now the setting is confirmed so let's begin the charging process connect the battery main power cable into the charging port this is the charging cable the red one will go into red slot and the black one into black I have XT connector, XT60 connector in this battery, so I need extension of XT60 and T plug. Now this is connected. this is 3 cell battery and so I need to connect this balance plug into 3 cell balance port now when it's all connected to start the charging process you need to press this start button for 2 seconds Pressing the start button for two seconds. Battery checking and it says R3 SER S3 SER. Now, what R3 and S3 means? R3 means that this charger has rejected a battery pack with three cells, and S3 is the battery type configured by the user. So these two numbers should be identical to start the process. If the numbers are identical then only start the charging process or else wait for few seconds or you can press the stop button. So in our case it is identical so we can go ahead with the charging process. To start the charging process pressing for start button pressing start button for 2 seconds and to confirm again press the start button now the charging has begun to check the statistics you need to press this increment and decrement button by pressing increment button you can see it's charging 4.11, 4.11 and 4.11 These are all balanced and by pressing the decrement button you can see the end voltage would be 12.60 in power voltage is 11.70 external temperature I don't have the temperature sensor so it will not show the temperature internal temperature is Frog 30 degrees centigrade. Cutoff temperature would be 80 degrees centigrade. Safety timer is on and it's 180 minute. So, this is how you can balance charge your LiPo battery. And if you are charging 2200 mAh battery at 1C, it would take around 45 to 50 minutes to get fully charged depends on how much it get discharged so this is the process i hope it will help you a bit thanks for watching